right, folks, get ready for a dive into the Star Trek universe. There's a lot cooking. We've got Easter eggs lined up for Star Trek IV, Zoe Saldana expressing her gratitude for one last Star Trek adventure, and even Nicolas Cage talking about his Star Trek movie dreams, saying, I want to be on the Enterprise. Wondering about the four rumored Star Trek movies in the works? We've got all the details and Easter eggs coming your way. So, you know how Zoe Saldana hasn't been Lieutenant Uhura since Star Trek Beyond in 2016? Well, she's itching to get back on the Enterprise for Star Trek IV. Even though it's been a while since the Starship Enterprise hit space in 2016's Star Trek Beyond, Zoe Saldana, along with her Star Trek buddies Chris Pine and Zachary Quinto, is up for another big screen adventure in her Starfleet uniform. In an interview with ComicBook.com about her series, Special Ops Lioness, Saldana shared her thoughts on the recent buzz about Star Trek IV still being in the works. She heard the rumors and is hopeful about reprising her role as Lieutenant Uhura. Here's what she had to say. I know, I mean, I heard what you heard in the trades. I just heard that they're gearing up to do a new one with a younger take on it. I don't know if it's from the before or the after, but they really still hope to grab all of us veterans and bring us back for one last round. Listen, I know it's a lot to wrangle a whole bunch of people with busy schedules, but working with J.J. Abrams and for J.J. Abrams at Bad Robot was always just a wonderful and beautiful experience for me. So if I do get to do that one last time, I would be so grateful. I would rather suffer the end of Romulus a thousand times. I would rather die in agony than accept assistance from you. You got it. And speaking of Star Trek movies, there's a buzz about potentially having four new ones in the pipeline. According to rumors, there's a lot of buzz around the possibility of four Star Trek movies currently in development. However, fans are rightfully skeptical about whether these projects will see the light of day. A sequel to Star Trek Beyond has been stuck in development limbo for nearly eight years, with no signs of progress since its removal from Paramount's theatrical slate in 2023. There's also talk about a second J.J. Abrams-produced Star Trek movie set decades before the 2009 reboot. And if that's not enough, there are reportedly two spin-off movies in the mix, one of which is confirmed to stream on Paramount+. Plus. The confirmed one is Michelle Yeoh's Star Trek Section 31, currently in production. It delves into the story of Emperor Philippa Georgiou and her role in Starfleet's covert organization. While not much is known about the project, more details might emerge now that Section 31 is in production. The other spin-off, a Star Trek Picard continuation, is a bit more uncertain, with various outlets reporting its existence based on a script. But here's the kicker, only the Section 31 movie is actively in production. Let's zoom in on Star Trek Section 31. It's a Paramount Plus exclusive movie currently filming in Toronto directed by Olatunde Ozunsanmi and written by Craig Sweeney. The film focuses on Emperor Philippa Georgiou's story within Starfleet's covert organization. Although it's streaming-focused and not intended for theaters, it features Academy Award-winning actress Michelle Yeoh in the lead role, bringing potential crossover appeal. Yeoh has played a crucial role in making Star Trek 31 happen, in contrast to the distance J.J. Abrams' Star Trek cast has been kept in terms of a fourth Kelvin timeline movie. Now, the Star Trek origin prequel movie is another one to keep an eye on. Written by Seth Graham Smith and directed by Toby Haynes, it's set decades before J.J. Abrams' Star Trek movies. While details about the storyline remain elusive, Abrams' involvement suggests a connection to the Kelvin timeline. However, the track record of talent attached to Star Trek IV since 2016 raises doubts about the certainty of the origin movie moving forward. So it seems like the Star Trek movie landscape is filled with uncertainties, leaving fans in a wait-and-see mode to discover which projects will indeed materialize. Now, if you think that's it, you should think again, because in a recent Deadline report, it was disclosed that the final chapter in the main Star Trek series, Star Trek IV, is still actively in development. While it's reassuring that Paramount Studios is committed to giving Chris Pine's Star Trek movies a proper conclusion, there are lingering doubts. 
Initially slated for a Christmas 2023 release, Star Trek IV faced setbacks when director Matt Shackman departed. Since then, no new directors or writers have been announced for the project, leaving its future uncertain. Despite Lindsay Beer's departure to direct Pet Cemetery Bloodlines, no replacements have been disclosed, and even Chris Pine expressed unawareness of a Star Trek IV project in November 2023. The pattern of the cast being the last to know about developments in J.J. Abrams' Star Trek movies adds to the uncertainty. Without official filming dates, it's wise not to anticipate the release of Chris Pine's concluding chapter in theaters anytime soon. Rumors about a Star Trek Picard movie surfaced following an interview with Patrick Stewart on Joshua Horowitz's Happy, Sad, Confused podcast. Stewart mentioned a script for the actor Patrick to perform in development, leading some outlets to speculate about a Picard movie. However, when considering the context of Stewart's conversation, the quote appears more related to a non-Star Trek project. The subsequent discussion about Star Trek Picard seems separate from the mentioned script, while Michelle Yeoh's Star Trek Section 31 movie is confirmed for Paramount Plus exclusive movies, there's currently no concrete evidence supporting the development of a Patrick Stewart-led Picard movie. With that said, let's not overlook Nicolas Cage's ongoing hope to land a role in a Star Trek movie, and his revelations about the discussions regarding joining the cast of J.J. Abrams' Star Trek IV. Cage, a lifelong Star Trek fan, expressed his disinterest in the Star Wars franchise last year, making headlines. The prospect of a dedicated Star Trek enthusiast like Cage sharing the screen with Chris Pine's Captain James T. Kirk and Zachary Quinto's Mr. Spock generated considerable excitement. However, despite recent reports suggesting J.J. Abrams' next movie is still in progress as the final chapter of the Kelvin Timeline's USS Enterprise crew, Star Trek IV seems trapped in development limbo. Screen Rant caught up with Nicolas Cage at the 51st annual Saturn Awards, where he received the Best Supporting Film Actor trophy for his role as Dracula in Renfield. Regarding his potential involvement in the next Star Trek movie, the acclaimed actor outlined his conditions, emphasizing his desire to set foot on the USS Enterprise. Cage stated that he had a couple of phone calls about the project, but without seeing a script, he remains cautious. He expressed his love for the franchise and articulated his vision for the role, stating that he wouldn't want to be floating in space on a satellite, but ideally wants to be on the bridge of the Enterprise. While Cage's comments reveal prior discussions, the absence of a script for Star Trek IV leaves uncertainties. Nevertheless, Cage has made it clear that any involvement would depend on the project aligning with his creative vision, emphasizing the need for excitement and vibrancy. His wish to be on the Enterprise, contributing his unique flavor to the role, showcases his deep admiration for the franchise. Despite the challenges Star Trek IV has faced, Cage's star power could significantly enhance the film's appeal pending the direction the next installment takes after various setbacks and directorial departures. Another Star Trek movie, reportedly an origin story set decades before J.J. Abrams' Star Trek 2009, is said to be in development, directed by Toby Haynes and written by Seth Graham Smith. It remains unclear if Cage would consider appearing on Star Trek Strange New Worlds, the popular prequel series on Paramount+, Plus but the franchise would undoubtedly benefit from embracing the enthusiasm of a major movie star like Nicolas Cage, eager to venture into the final frontier. And that wraps up today's video. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next one. Feel free to drop your suggestions for future videos in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Okay.